I was even called the N-word in McDonald's one time. I was waiting for my order and the dude was like, that's your order N-word and I was like, like it didn't click at first, but after about a half hour or so, I was like, this dude, you know, he, he really, he just said that to me. When I first moved here, a lot of times I'd be walking on the street and a white person would be coming towards me and they would cross over to the other side. I remember one time, I literally just got off the phone with somebody, I was looking for some apartments. And in like the 10 minutes it took me to get there, he looked at me and he was like, it's okay, space is taken. Yeah, that's been my experience with racism on PEI. Hey everybody, my name is Chavez Etchkem. I'm from Nassau, Bahamas. I moved here to PEI to study marketing and advertising at Holland College, and I'm happy to be here. So my story starts when I was about two years old when I was diagnosed with hemophilia, it's a blood disorder where my blood doesn't clot as quickly. And my younger, like say five to eight, I felt very left out, but because of my hemophilia, a lot of people didn't know what it was. So it was like, you just go sit on the side. Uh, I was a bit of a rebel sometimes. It was like my way of acting out, dealing with all of that, whatever I was dealing with, emotional less and things like that. But as I grew older, I started to gain more confidence in myself and knowing myself more and that's when I started to really try and motivate and help other people who feel as though they left or less off or not good enough and I would motivate my friends and have them try new things, face their fears as I face mine and it was it was a good companion. It's like it's just good having someone to do it with, you know what I mean? It's rather than doing it by yourself. Pushing the pepper on Saturday, living my life like Hemingway, driven the vibe heavily. Coming alive, trying so I'm a hip hop music producer. Chevron is like a alter ego that I go into. Anything artistic that I do, I like to go into that headspace of Chevron because he's the he's the artist. He's the one that does what he wants and how he wants. Uh, in June, I participated in the Black Lives Matter march. Yeah, be uh, that was liberating, I'd say. Uh, just to be able to stand up for that type of cause and be surrounded with like-minded people. I feel very proud being a part of that history, you know what I mean? Black History Month, what it means to me is a time to go back in history and focus on the works that was done before and to see how we could educate ourselves on what they did right and what they did wrong so we could move forward as a people. So what I want people to take away from that is to just educate yourself more about the situations of in the BIPOC community and try to relate and see how it's different from your situation and maybe how you could help out. And I want the people in the BIPOC community to get from this is that change begins with yourself. Like if you want change to happen, you need to change yourself, change your thinking and eventually your environment will change as well.